what's up guys welcome back to my channel I'm Stardust and so are you so judging by the title guys you should already know this pick a card is going to be about what is your supernatural superpower I'm excited for this one I have no idea what to expect um I don't really get too many channel messages for the collective actually I can't really get any looking at my paper here um but I do feel I have the energy that like there could be multiples, especially with uh, Wildberry's pile. But go ahead and pick your pile, guys, um, to see what your supernatural superpower is. Of course, I'm doing teas today. So I have the Wildberry's tea. Look at me dropping it. <laughs> so, yeah, with the Wildberry's tea, you could be, like, you smell really good. You could be really, like, sweet as well. You could, like, berries. Um, you just could be multifaceted. You could be, you could do multiple things and have multiple superpowers, um, or supernatural abilities. And you could be like, you could be somebody that prefers like caffeine free, you know, <laughs> like you possibly like your rest. You possibly like to sleep and this is how you possibly need this to ch recharge and have energy. So, yeah, that's pile number one, Wild Berries Tea. And then pile number two is going to be the classic green tea. You could be very earthy. Um, you could be really down to earth, really grounded. You could um, be simple. And you could also be naturally caffeinated. Like, you just probably need, like, two or three hours of sleep and you're on go. Um, also... You could be very protective of yourself as well. You like to keep your energy clean and cleansed as well. And also you could be very loving with the green energy, the heart chakra energy. So, and um, Pau One, you could be given this royal vibe with the purple um, energy. So... Either way, these energies are very abundant, more royal here and more grounded, earthy abundance here. So go ahead and pick your pile, guys, um, and I'm going to see you in a second. Okay, pile number one, Wild Berries. What's your supernatural superpower? Wow, I'm so excited for this reading. And I did get channel messages while I was shuffling. I don't see the cards. Yes, come through. I feel like you're not one to play with. Uh, while Barry's pile. For sure. Hold on one second. Like, yo, and it's so crazy. Yo, this song just came on, my, on in my ear. Uh, I'm That Girl by Beyonce. And it's funny. I think I just read the other day that your dream actually wrote that song. So you could be a masculine or a feminine. doesn't matter about the energy. But listen to that song, I'm That Girl by Beyonce. You could like, you know, uh, with your supernatural superpower, I feel like you have a cosmic connection. You have a connection to multiple dimensions here. Um, oh, wow. Like, this is going to be so good. You stop at nothing. I feel like you are, um, you travel the universe. You feel me? You have the ability to travel the universe and bring it into form. You know, you possibly are a really good manifester. Um, you stop at nothing. Like you literally possibly have the ability. Your supernatural superpower is that you can walk through the cosmos. Maybe when you're sleeping. Yes. Hell yeah. When you sleep, bro. You. <laughs> and I know this energy, yo. When you sleep, you possibly like roam the cosmos in your little chariot. Or, you know, um throughout the universe here the co like the cosmos you walk through the cosmos here 
Um, one of your supernatural uh, superpowers is that you possibly can detach from things very easily. You can um, disconnect from the earthly realm and, and tap into this cosmic world here. You can go and do a deep reflecting here, especially around bodies of water as well. You have multiple uh, supernatural superpowers. Um, I possibly, I feel like you possibly could be a really deep meditator. I feel like you know how to put things into action here and uh, start new projects and, and go after them. You could, your cosmic superpower or your supernatural, I just said cosmic, your supernatural superpower is multiple things here. I'm seeing it here with this girl here with the multiple arms and then it's here again different deck with these multiple arms here you you could be like the emperor or the empress you could be a cancer uh, Aquarius Leo Sagittarius Aries Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. I feel like you um, reclaim your energy. You also see things powerfully through your third eye here. I feel like your supernatural superpower is radiating some type of love as well. You have a possibly a deep intuition. It could be an Aquarius, heavy on the Aquarius energy. Your cosmic superpower could involve some type of travel here. Maybe you have a connection to like Saturn or um, I want to say Jupiter or Uranus as well. Your supernatural superpower too. I was getting this in another reading, and that's probably what made me. I've been watching a lot of like superhero movies lately, and that's what gave me the idea to do this reading. And like, I'm seeing this thing too, and that's probably I got this in another reading about maybe someone being able to like have this supernatural uh, superpower to get people to tell the truth. Here, I'm seeing this like uh, this is like reminding me of the thing that. A Wonder Woman would carry around to like get people to tell the truth. You can be very spiritual. I don't know why I just got this, but someone's uh, supernatural superpower could be uh, to affect the weather as well. You could possibly be able to like make it snow when you really want it, or you could bring fall in faster. <laughs> I don't know. That's crazy. You could like if you manifest or you think about it long enough, like you can make spring come sooner than normal or um make it snow when it hasn't snowed in a while or something here your supernatural superpower this is creepy and crazy you can make people tired as well like especially if like people have been having trouble sleeping or um, they have like an, an excited mind or something here. Maybe you can, maybe you hypnotize people maybe with your communication or the, the movement, the way you move your hands or something, or just you walking into the room here could possibly make people sleepy. Maybe you're really powerful energy and you absorb this, uh, you absorb people's energies somehow. I feel like you have multiple, like I said, you have multiple abilities. You could absorb energy. You could also radiate. Like I said, you radiate love. 
I don't know if you absorb other people's energies that make them sleepy you use this for your third eye here but you also give back to the universe somehow you could be uh, really driven about your um, the projects and the things that you want to go after um, you you can't be stopped here and you're like I said you're a powerful manifester you're really good at multiple things here and you're able to do a lot of different things here maybe your power a lot of your supernatural uh, superpowers come from your hands maybe you need to like keep your hands warm for some reason this is when your power is activated when your hands are warm Maybe one of your supernatural superpowers is to be able to, like, get money from people. Like, people just want to give you money here. I feel like one of your supernatural superpowers is that like you can summon like uh, birds or like some type of flying creature like uh, what's this look like a um, it looks like maybe dragonflies or butterflies or uh, these winged birds here or creatures here you can like summon them or get them to like follow you or something or they naturally gravitate towards you But yeah, overall, I feel like you, you channel energy very well here. Maybe through your heart, through your third eye, through your mind is what I'm getting. Um, you do a lot of possibly supernatural, uh, supernatural things here when you're sleeping. Maybe one of your supernatural superpowers is to like travel to like different times as well. Like I was getting that here when it, when it, when I, when I bring it to form. Um, like not just you going to like different planets and different galaxies and things like that here. Um, I feel like you also can go through like different times, you know, maybe you, I get this too. I have these experiences sometimes where I have like flashes or whatever. Maybe you have like flashes of like different times of like, you know, or different places, especially when you're like around bodies of water or yeah, like you can go into like different times, you know, times back when it was like old Egypt and you could go back into like space and then you can go into like, it's, it's so many different things here. Um, you can go back to when times were like simpler, you know, when people had to like hunt and pitch tents and stuff like you can go multiple places here you have this ability you a tra you're a traveler and, and and also when you do all this traveling like you know how to pull your energy back and reclaim your energy here like you're a master at this here like you're really good like I said with the wild berries and you smell good all <laughs> the, the whole way doing it you know and this is probably why you're caffeine free like you get your energy from other sources other people here other dimensions And you could also need like a lot of time to like uh, rejuvenate here and but you channel some type of energy here from spirit and it comes from your hands you walk through portals here 
so uh, these are the channel messages that I got for you um, like I said I wrote you could be a good like multitasker like you do multiple things in multiple dimensions <laughs> um, your supernatural superpower is that you're receptive yeah like you could be receptive to other people's energy um, you could balance forces here and I was getting that with this connection here this cosmic connection you could balance uh energies out maybe from multiple dimensions in different places you don't even know that you're doing this but even when you're by water or you're relaxing around a fire or you're like sleeping you're balancing out forces here um when you're traveling yeah, you're a portal keeper. Like, you keep the portals to, like, multiple places, multiple dimensions, um, multiple t uh, times, spaces and times, you know. Um, you also know how to release energy here. Like I was saying, you possibly know how to release dark, wounded energy. And um, you know how to let love in. And I was getting it through this card. Wow. And I wrote that on my channel messages. So, you know, you know how to transmute energy really well. You know how to, like, uh, pour this dark energy out and, like, recycle it somehow. Um, and turn it into something that's uh, conducive to your third eye here. Something conducive to your third eye. You know how to transmute dark energy into, like, love. Love. And also uh, psychic ability energy. I'm seeing this little amethyst that's sticking out on this card here. Yeah, and I wrote a lot. Because <laughs> that song, A Lot, came on in my ear. And it's crazy. That's the energy that I'm getting here. You have a lot of different... Um, you can't afford to lose either. Like maybe you're some type of spiritual warrior in the cosmos. Or you just do this energy in silence here. Or this is your divine purpose here. But I hope that resonated with you guys. Your supernatural superpower is um, multi, you're multi-talented. You do a lot for um, the cosmos and um, for the world, possibly, for the universe, for the, uh, for the cosmic connection here. And um, also, you know, how to reclaim your energy. You possibly also bring messages as well. You possibly give clear messages. I'm just getting that here. So, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely hit that like button if it resonated with you here. Also, watch Pow 2 if it didn't resonate, but I'm sure it did resonate. Um, yeah. So, definitely, yeah. Like I said, watch Pow 2 just for fun because it could have some type of similar energies. Um, and look forward to my future readings, guys. Peace. Okay, green tea. What's up? Welcome back. So if you chose this earthy grounded green tea, let's see what your wow, your supernatural superpower is. Yeah, you could definitely resonate with the wild berries pile. Let me get a sip of my water here. Definitely stay hydrated, guys. To keep your uh, supernatural superpowers um, enhanced. Um, but yeah, let's see what your supernatural superpower is. Wow. Ah, come through with the stars here. <laughs> this is dope. I love this reading. Wow. You could be a feminine energy. Heavy feminine energy, a little masculine. Even if you're not, just switch the energies around. But, um, wow, this is dope. Wow. So, your supernatural superpower is that, um, wow. You could linger in people's minds here. You could come to people through their dreams as well. I was getting a lot of this and, um, Pile one, but your supernatural superpower is that you cause transformation, you cause change here, you cause people to make different choices and uh, decisions here, you you cause people to uh, go into um, solitude, you you cause people to reflect on themselves as well. You you change people <laughs> like your your supernatural superpower is to literally get people to change their mind here change their decisions their choices whether this is work school whatever 
um you get people your your supernatural superpowers is um you get people to see the true you and to see the truth truth of themselves as well you hold a mirror up to people here um you could also um you could give people some type of memories as well like um you could cause people to like tap into like the akashic records their past lives um you could cause people to like have like vivid dreams as well you could um you could get people to like change their financial situation as well you could transform people's like you have the power literally your supernatural superpowers to change people's financial situations you could also like get people to see like the snakes around them as well you jog people's memories here you also too with this memory energy you could also like plant like uh fantasies and things like that into people's brains as well but this is all to like cause them to like make better choices or decisions here if you're a female or a masculine you could have like this siren energy or like the energy of like a mermaid your third eye is popping here you could definitely um transform like long-term situations here home situations financial situations here you're a star seer you can see things you know um you can see the higher truth of situations you could lead people like you could help people uh your supernatural superpower is that maybe you help people to get to their their true star like to see that they're a star seer yeah you help other people see the true truth of themselves here with your psychic abilities maybe with your creativity of how you see yourself how you be yourself yeah especially you being yourself you if your hair is wild if your hair is different and creative and blue and wild and just decorated here even if your hair is like normal and plain jane you know or you get like plain jane people to like see this in themselves as well yeah i feel like your supernatural superpower is that you know how to release you know you help people release their burdens release their obstacles and their challenges i feel like one of your supernatural superpowers too is that you have like good integrity like you do the right thing even when no one's looking like that's your superpower a lot of people don't have that i'm telling you if people have the opportunity to like steal something or whatever it is like they knowing that the cameras don't work whatever you are going to do the right thing yeah you can have like some type of like you know golden child like energy here you get people to see like they're the star and them you know that's your superpower is that you maybe come you i feel like you visit people in their dreams as well you you affect the people's emotions somehow that's your superpower is that you have the ability to, to like transform people's emotions uh to open their third eye as well you get them to see like the higher their higher self here you definitely visit people in their dreams <laughs> You get people to like go into solitude and reflect on themselves that's your superpower you can make people like literally start looking at themselves and researching things here 
you could definitely transform how people do things differently with their finances. Or, you know, how they do things long term, who their partners are, who they marry, who they, you know, what job they sign up for. You, you, you cause these major transformations in people's lives. Like, that's a lot of power, bro. To be able to, like, destroy, like, a 16-year marriage or uh, or to get a player that's been, you know, single his whole life or playing people their whole life. You can change people's minds this way and transform them this way. Also, like, if someone's been carrying a lot of burdens and obstacles and things like that, like, you get them to... You know, see them high, their higher self and get out of this stagnant, stuck uh, energy of not seeing themselves as a star here. You could be very creative as well. You you opens you open people's minds eye. And I feel like you could be like Pal One. You could have multiple gifts here. And the difference about you and Pal One is that your gifts here, Green Tea, your superpowers and uh, supernatural abilities is more hidden. Maybe you're aware of them and you don't want other people to be aware of them. Or maybe you're just unaware of these things here. I feel like there's like a sneakiness or a mysteriousness about your supernatural uh, superpowers here. You're just maybe or nonchalant about them is what I want to say. You could definitely have a deep connection to water or like, you know, the, the you know, water gods as well. Like Poseidon or Yemeya. Or, you know, any water god that you can think of, you should channel or focus with the work with those energies. But yeah, you could be, you know, very popular. You could be like the star of the show here. You could get a lot of attention as well. You cause transformation. And people, maybe when they see you, that's your, you know, you are probably one of those people that make people's heart drop when they see you. There's like a hidden, like, star energy about you as well. Maybe your superpower, too, could be the fact that you see things in people that, you, yeah, you see the truth in people. You see their souls. You see... Who they are here even if they don't see it in themselves you see the generosity you can see who's a snake um, you can see the choices and decisions that people are going to make or what they should do before they even know you have that's your power here but yeah your superpower is transformation you are a walking ball of transformative energy you cause change in other people you get people to see themselves and you cause change within yourself as well and possibly too you could affect the oceans as well you could have some power over you know the sun and the ocean if you was to focus your third eye here you could possibly have some type of deep connection to uh, the way that the ocean or the water moves as well for sure And like maybe the uh, creatures that live in the ocean. Also, you could have some type of uh, connectivity to dogs and uh, yeah, and uh, snakes as well. So, guys, I hope that resonated with you. That was uh, really dope. Your superpower too could come through your, um, mostly through your third eye is what I want to say, and your eyes. Your hands could be significant, but not so much so. 
maybe you have a, no a lot of knowledge in your hands, but I feel like a lot of your uh, superpowers may come through your eyes. The way you look at things, if you stare at something long enough, you could transform it or change it somehow. Yeah, you staring at something or maybe you might want to try sun gazing or staring into like large bodies of water or staring into the ocean. Things like that here could possibly help activate your superpower even further. But yeah, I see it comes through your eyes mostly and power one was more so through the hands. So, guys, I hope that resonated. It was a super fun reading, I, I think. So, like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely give me feedback. And also stay uh, looking forward to my future readings. And check out my past readings, okay? Peace.